Hi, I'm Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful, and today I want to show you a crochet stitch called the Bear Track Stitch. Now, it's kind of similar to a basket weave stitch, but a little bit simpler. And I call it the Bear Track Stitch because I think each one of these little motifs or blocks looks like a bear track you might see in the mud uh, if you live around here where, where we have bears in southwest Colorado. So I'll show you how to get started and how to work this stitch for any size of blanket. And today I'm using Bernat Baby Sport Yarn from Yarnspirations. This is a DK weight yarn, light category three. Uh, it's got 1,256 yards or 1,148 meters per 350 grams. And it recommends a four millimeter hook, but I am going up um, a couple hook sizes here to a 5.5 millimeter hook, my eye hook. This is a clover soft touch hook. So for this stitch, it's nice to go up a few hook sizes. So go up maybe one millimeter or one and a half millimeters from what the yarn label recommends. And that gives it a really nice drape and a stretch so it's not too stiff of a blanket. So this blanket, to get started, we are going to chain any multiple of four and then chain one more after that. And the blanket is composed of treble crochet stitches in U.S. terms, um, and it's worked in blocks of front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So I'll show you how to do that. So in row one, uh, after you chain any multiple of four plus one extra stitch, we're going to work one row of just regular treble crochet stitches in each chain. So to get started, we're going to work a treble crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And the way we work a treble crochet, we yarn around the hook twice, insert the hook into that chain, yarn over and pull through the chain, and then we're gonna yarn over and pull through the first two loops on the hook only. Yarn over again and pull through the next two loops. And yarn over one more time and pull through those last two loops on the hook. So the first um, three chains we skipped, that counts as our first um, treble crochet stitch. And then this is our second treble crochet stitch we just finished. Now let's work another one into that next chain. We yarn over twice insert the hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through that chain, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops on a hook. So now we have another treble crochet stitch. Just like double crochet, just a little taller, you get that extra yarn over before you go into the chain, and then you have to yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So they're nice and tall, and the benefit of that is that your blanket grows really quickly uh, because each row is so tall. So you'll treble crochet into each chain going down the row to create that first row one. So for this baby blanket, I chained 149. And that leaves me with 146 stitches per row. So I'll show you how row two works. And then after that, the whole blanket just repeats row two and row three. So to start each row, we're going to chain four. And then we're going to work four front post treble crochet stitches. So I'll show you how to work one of those. Then we'll work four back post treble crochet stitches, four front post treble crochet stitches, four back post treble crochet stitches. So here's how you do a front post treble crochet. You wrap your yarn around the hook twice, and you go around the post of the stitch like that, sticking your hook in from right to left if you're right-handed. Yarn over and pull through that. Then yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops on the hook. So that's our first front post treble crochet stitch. We're gonna do that three more times. Yarn over twice, 
go around the post of that stitch, like that. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. So we have our first two stitches done. Two more. So there's our first little bear track created. And they end up stacking up on top of each other just in this really cute way. So now we're going to work for back post treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over our hook twice, insert the hook from the back of the work, and then stick it out the back like that. Grab the yarn, pull it through that. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. So let's do that again, a back post treble crochet. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook from the back of the work. Back to the back of the work. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So let's do two more of those. Okay, now we've got our second little bear track started there. So now we just alternate four front post double treble, uh, front post treble crochet stitches, four back post treble crochet stitches, all along the end of the row. And when we get to the end, we're just going to do a regular treble crochet into that last stitch. So while we crochet along here, I figured I'd tell you about my first bear encounter, uh, kind of the inspiration for the the stitch name. And my twin sister Karen and I used to be very adventurous and travel all around the world. And we love spending time in the wilderness, and just backpacking. So one year we went out to Alaska, to the Kenai Peninsula of Alaska. And our destination was the Kachemak Bay State Park. It's this huge, beautiful wilderness, totally roadless. We had to take a ferry boat to drop us off on the shore. And you just have to jump off the boat and, and wade in, and then you're on your own. We had no guide or anything, it was just the two of us, backpacking, carrying our tent and all our food and everything. So uh, the first day we get there, we hike, hiked pretty far, you know, and it's summertime, so the sun's not going down. It's not like getting dark. You still see all night, which is a great time to visit Alaska if you're afraid of the dark. <laughs> like me, I'm a little afraid of the dark. So um, we hiked, and it's time to stop for the night and set up our tent. But the only, only really good choices to, to pop the tent were in the woods where the mosquitoes were just terrible. And thank goodness my mom uh, recommended we bring some head nets to cover our, mosquito, our uh, heads, protect us from the mosquitoes. Um, or the open kind of river valley that was so beautiful, but about every 10 feet we kept seeing bear tracks, piles of bear scat, just various signs of bear. So, um, you know, we had to choose mosquitoes or, or bears. We ended up having to choose bears because the valley is just so beautiful and it's nice flat gravel to, to put the tent on. So before we set up our tent, I, I don't know why, but I just really wanted to send a message to the bears around saying like, hey, we're peaceful, we're friendly, just passing through for the night, don't bother us. You know, we can see this is your territory. We're gonna be respectful. So I yelled down the valley like, hey bears, we're not gonna bother you. We're just here for the night. I just yelled that out. And um, then we, you know, we set our tent down and we hiked a few miles away to go cook our, a mi mile or so away to go cook our food and hang all of our food in the tree and our soap and our toothpaste and stuff away from our tent so that our tent wouldn't smell like food, you know, using, using the usual precautions against bears in the wilderness. And you know, everything's fine. We had our dinner. We tucked ourselves into our tent, read our books. And, um, you know, about 30 seconds after, after we really get tucked in for the night, we hear a snuffling around the tent. And, you know, it's, bears are very curious. And the bear had heard me shouting down the valley and probably perked up his ears and just came toward us, like checking us out. Like, what was that? 
So even though I was trying to send a peaceful message to the bears, it turns out they were very curious about why I was yelling down the valley. So uh, this big, big bear circles the tent and snuffling all around. And the most shocking thing to me was that it smelled like a wet dog. Just a really musky, fishy, wet dog. The smell was so potent on this big old Alaskan bear. So obviously we're terrified, you know, too, too scared to even breathe, just holding our breath, waiting for this bear to go away. And it eventually did, it left us alone. And, you know, we went out in the tent, just checked out these huge tracks in the mud. This big old bear that we were too scared to poke our head out and look at <laughs> while he was there, but his tracks were there. So it's kind of an inspiration for the name of this blanket is these, these each look like a big bear claw could have made these tracks here. So the bear tracks did. And since then, I've had bears around a lot here. I live in the mountains of Colorado and we always have to be very careful walking our vehicles because in the summertime, those curious bears, if they see anything that looks like food, they, they'll peek in your truck window or your car window and go after it if they can. So <laughs> uh, we've had to lock our vehicle to prevent that from happening. But I just love bears. I think they're so peaceful. I love to see a mama bear with cubs. And I love to see a bear anywhere around here. So much respect to the bears and their, their big, terrifying paws <laughs> that are the inspiration for those blanket. So we'll keep going down the row. We're going to alternate our front post treble crochet for four stitches and then back post treble crochet for four stitches. And once you get in the groove of it, it really does go pretty quickly here. And then when we get to the end of the row, I'll show you how to finish that and turn our work and start row three. And then after that, we just alternate rows two and three for as big as you want your blanket to be. I'm making a baby blanket here with two balls of that Bernat Baby Sport yarn. It'd be a good, good baby or child size blanket with um, 146 stitches across. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row two, and depending on which multiple of four you chose for your starting chain, this could be a set of front post stitches or back post stitches. For me, um, chaining 149 to start and having 146 stitches per row, this is a set of back post stitches. And then for our last stitch, we will treble crochet into the top of the chain four that started the previous row. Then we'll turn our work and start row three. So row three is the same as row two, except for we start with the group of four back posts treble crochet stitches, then four front post treble crochet stitches. So every other row you're alternating whether you're starting with the front post stitches or back post stitches. So what we're, we're going to start with a chain four, and then we'll work four back post treble crochet stitches because this is already a completed little bear track. So now we're going to start a new bear track in this row, row three. So we're gonna yarn over twice, insert the hook from the back of the work to the front and then out the back. Yarn over and pull through that. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. So we'll work three more back post treble crochet stitches. One more, and then we will work for front post treble crochet stitches right here. So we're inserting our hook from the front to the back and back out the front. Yarn over and pull it through that. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So that's pretty much the whole stitch. We're gonna alternate this for the rest of the row two, just four back post treble crochet, four front post treble crochets, four back post treble crochets, four front post treble crochets, until we get to the end of the row, and then you just work a regular treble crochet into the last stitch. And then turn and work row two again. And then turn your work and work row three, three again. So just keep alternating rows two and three until you get this 
really fun bear track sti stitch and I hope you love it. Thanks for watching.